Come on, it's all over. I'm sorry, Yuri. We are going to get married. This is my future husband, Max. What wedding? Yes, sir, we're having a wedding. All of our family is here. I don't care if you're having a wedding. Nastya, come with no, me now. I'm not going anywhere. Nastya, what do you mean? I know your true fiancé is a different man. So you're saying you have more than one fiancé? Listen, we have to be extremely careful. Everything will be fine. Will you come to my place tonight? Later. Chance, either you tell me the truth and everything will be fine, or you will regret lying to me. Where is the laptop? I gave it to my grandson. Really? Please don't hurt him. He didn't do anything wrong. Please don't hurt him. Please. Hello. Don't you know how to knock on the door before coming in? It's my house. I can do whatever I want here. So better get used to it. I can't get used to a murderer. To a man who holds me captive. Hmm. And I saw how you treated your family. Do you even know how to love? Myself. You'll have to fix the lock. I'm not going to fix anything. Here, take this. Come on, take it. I bought this for you. So you better wear it. Well? Did you find it already? Vasya's address? Well, hmm? it was actually easy. Really? Mm hmm But what if Misha finds out? Uh, it can only end up in two ways. Either you or I tell him. But we're interested in keeping it a secret, am I right? Nikita. Hmm. Thank you. Come on, come on, hurry up. Finish that. You hear me? Maybe I'd better not go to the check class? No, 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 no. Forget the check class. Skipping classes again? Rahina Livivna. We visited a doctor to have her check up. He told us that Talia is extremely exhausted because she's studying too much. The doctor told us she needs some rest. I'm also exhausted and annoyed. Have your rest. But first, let me show you something. Take a look at this. Right. Where did you get it? Internet? I guess someone from here told them about what happened. What do you think, Rahina? You have an outstanding skill shifting all the blame. Well, let me tell you something. Not only do your sons cause a lot of trouble, but they also blame others. Misha? Look, he must have learned this from you too. Why am I surprised at all? Hello. Listen. 
The press has all the details of Max's wedding. Yes, I know. Here's your task. Gather everyone today all by twos. Set a family dinner in a warm atmosphere, so that the journalist won't have a single ounce of doubt. Pretend that Streletska joined our family voluntarily. What do you think about it? Who did it? I don't know yet, but it's a matter of time, believe me. I suspect it could be Regina Levivna. Listen to me! I'd be glad if you leave her alone. Just get everything done as soon as possible. Go practice in front of the mirror. Please, give all your best to look at Streletska with sincere love, okay? I'll see you later. Almost all of the journalists invited confirmed their arrival for later. Although I still don't know how they managed to find out about the wedding. Listen, Adita, what if... What if we ask Mikita? He'll find out, I'm sure. No, don't do it. We really shouldn't bother our computer genius with such nonsense right now. So I'll deal with that myself. Okay, if that's the case, you'll need some money. There's no need, Misha. I'll sort it out myself. Herself, herself, herself. Always by herself. Well, let's go. It doesn't suit you. Take something brighter and do something with those eye bags. I'm not going to do anything for you. We better not argue. Or what? Hmm. Hmm. It's yours. Nastya, do you want me to go insane? You don't have to answer him. It's wrong. You're a married woman now. You know that. Remember, from now on, there'll be no calls to anyone without my permission. You can only text or call Lydia. But keep it short and brief. Don't text your relatives, and don't meet anyone without my permission. Is that a deal? Do you think that cops are so dumb? Do you think that if I stop communicating with them, they won't mind? It depends on how well your acting skills would go from here. I need him to believe that. You're my happy wife. Just like any couple. So go. Change your dress. Get rid of your eye bags. Please. Coming! Hello, are you... Tatiana? You look exactly as I imagined you. Who are you? Your mother-in-law. May I? Thank you. Much better. Let's go. If I'll be making this bit believable, it would be fair that I'll ask you for a small favor. What do you want? I cannot quit the clinic. Understood. If I realize that I can trust you, maybe you can come back. But in the meantime, you're away for a honeymoon. Masha needs constant care. Who is Masha? Oh. The girl you operated on, and the reason how you became a TV star. I think she can make it. There are other surgeons there. I almost forgot. Shall I help you?
Damn, you couldn't find a quieter place? My grandma told me who you are. It's a lot safer. Safer? As you wish. Where's the laptop? What's that? Money. That you owe me. What? I found it, and I think I deserve a reward. Uh, very well. Can I see it again? I didn't catch that. There. I'm gonna break your oh, hand. Easy. It's going to hurt so much. Where is it? Now tell me. What? In the bin. Are you stupid? Get it out. Unwrap it. What a wimpy blackmailer. Where are we going now? The media says you don't love me and I made you marry me. Which is why we are going to a family lunch where we'll be showing journalists they're wrong. And what if I don't want to pretend and lie? Then you have 20 minutes to fall in love with me. It's very cozy in here. It's quite a taste for you. It's not ours. We're just renting it. Really? <sighs> I've been thinking of Vasil all these years. I guess he never told you of me, right? Of course he didn't show. He's such a character. <sighs> but he really misses you. You and his brother and sister. He carries your family photograph in his wallet. Does he? <sighs> now that you're here, we are this close. Maybe everything will work out for us. Tanya, help me. Help me improve relations with my son. Convince him that we need to talk and that Tanya needs a grandmother. I can't promise, but I will try. Thank you. I'll count on you on this. <sighs> now tell me about Danya. May I see some photos? I wonder how he's like. Really? Really? <laughs> Get inside. Please. What do you want? Coffee? So kind of you. Why should I be rude to you? Yuri, we had a bad beginning. But it doesn't mean that'll continue so. We're relatives. No. I don't believe you. I don't believe a single word from you. But you believe Ostapenko, right? What do you know of him? Why do you think, after he came here, he's been trying to get me and my uncle so desperately? Hmm? You think he's got nothing else to do? What do you mean? Think about it, policeman. Good luck. Where were you? I asked everyone to be on time. I'm sorry, I was a little busy. Olena, you told me you were going to the hairdressers earlier. So? Why isn't your hair done? I decided not to go there because of the traffic. Oh, traffic? Mother. Stop it. I'm sorry. Just to recap, I'll be informed when the press arrives. Our task is to demonstrate love and harmony in your family. Our task? Our task? I'm sorry. My tongue's a little careless. Everyone must repeat this marriage is because of love and the family approves of it. If you don't know what to say, I will help you. Yes, you always know what to say. You're excellent at such things. That's quite right, Olena Romanovna. That is part of my job. 
No barbs against each other, especially Anastasia. Remember, you will be filmed, so you need to look at Nastia with approval. I don't like hypocrisy. Me too. It's all in. Someone told the press about our family secrets. What do you mean? The first story, titled A Scandal at Volodanko's Wedding, was published on Fableek. <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, your doctor's husband is the editor-in-chief. Maybe he's the one. <laughs> Are you blaming for that or what? Tell us, Mother. Is that true? No. According to my data, the policemen leaked the information. Who's that? Don't answer it. Hello. Hello. Did you reserve? There are my guests. Hello, everyone. Um, may I have a word with your wife? Please show this gentleman our table. Thank you. I want you to know that... I don't like your marriage at all. We'd have better arranged a great funeral for you, with solemn speeches, of you as an exceptional doctor and a wonderful person. But our situation is different, so I want you to listen to me very carefully. You had better keep your mouth shut on whatever you'll be seeing and hearing here, understand? I'll be having a contract soon enough, and if I lose it all because of you, you will regret it. Stop talking to me as if I owe you anything. Yes, you do. You owe me and Max your life. That's why you will do as I say. It's a bad idea to be my enemy, you know. So you had better be my friend, believe me. All clear? All clear. And now I must pay for this. I only married Max because there are no other choices to make, but believe me, I'll never be like you. I'm different. I will never ever drag anyone down into my dirt. What a handsome son I have. Nastya, you're so lucky. <sighs> Honey, what's wrong? I'm sick. Excuse me. Sit down. She can handle herself. Where are you going? To the bathroom. May I? No, I... I told you to sit. So calm down and listen. Olena, don't you worry so much now. We have a doctor. Halia, these are false contractions. I'm not pregnant. Leave me alone. I think you should go and tell your mom about this. Very soon you'll need all the help and support. She already knows. I wish she didn't. Well... Our situations are far from ideal. What have you got to do with it? Your child and Max will be born legally and you won't have to hide it at all. No, Halya, we won't have children. You're beautiful. Max likes your type. He's very handsome. He's very strong and, and kind. You just need to know him better, and I know you will love him too. I doubt. Are you all right in there? Yes. Everything's fine. We're leaving. 
Don't tell him. Do not tell anyone, okay? Oh, yeah, it's impossible. You can't always hide it. I'll hide it for the meantime. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> Hey there. I got the card number. Scammers use this card to lure money through a fake online store. Can you track the scammer with this? I'll make sure to do it quickly for you. One more thing. I need to know if our database is really secure. Can you hack it? You're going to look at someone's background, right? Let's say it's Vasil Ostapenko for me to trust him. I need to know who that guy is. Okay. Are you okay? I'm all right. I think I just ate something bad. I'm feeling sick as well. Mother, we are not here to eat. The journalists are here. Really? Yes. And remember, you're a happy and a strong family that has recently been changed with a beloved daughter-in-law. Yes, yeah, so they're waiting for us. Mother? We have a chance to find out all the details of the scandalous wedding in the family of the pharmaceutical king, Mikhail Volodenko. Good afternoon. I must confess we did not expect a press conference, but we are ready to briefly answer all of your questions. We Hello. will be accepting some questions. Good afternoon. Tell us how your relationship with Anastasia Streleska started. I think my lovely wife here will give you better answers to all of your questions. Anastasia, please do. Books often tell us about heavenly love. And Max and I, we are lucky to find it in real life. How did your mother react about this sudden marriage? Um, she reacted really well. She's just, uh, very shy and timid and doesn't like talking to the press. Rihina, I'm begging you. Please come back up. No, I don't want to say anything else. I don't like this idea at all. Rihina, you know what? I know you leaked the information about the wedding. I covered you, but I can tell Misha the truth if you want me to. So please don't make it hard and help your grandson save his family. So get up there. You know, true love doesn't attract publicity. We'll hope you'll just let us be from now on. Thank you. Hold on. Wait, I'm very sorry. I had to take my pills for today. Yes. Uh, what were the police doing at the day of your wedding? Actually, we invited them to come. Anastasia's brother is a policeman. If you didn't know that, of course, he wouldn't miss his sister's wedding. I hope we answered all of your questions today. That'll be all. We thank you very much. One last question. Uh, Anastasia, will you continue your career as a doctor soon? Certainly. Mikhail Yogramanovich and I have so many projects. So many people need our help. I hope we can do it soon. Thank you. We really appreciate your time and attention. Thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. Shall we go? Thank you. Max, Max! Wait, could I have a word with you? I'll be back. Listen to me. This marriage will soon become a real problem. Streletska is too smart for you. You can't always control her actions. We made a mistake. But she'll change. I think she'll change you instead. No one can change me. But you once changed me. Yes, it was for your own good. Then you have to trust me with this. My wife's waiting. Due to some circumstances, we'll have to increase the price by 20%. But you can't. Now we'll see what happens. Yes, I guarantee it is the same laptop. Yes, you can check everything. When should we? All right. Daddy! <laughs> what a baby! <laughs> You're so early. Mom is taking me to the amusement park. Great, that's cool. Give me your nose. <laughs> um... 
That's good. <laughs> but I'm not going with you. I'm sorry, I have so much work to do. Hmm. Hmm. Then hmm. I'm not going anywhere, too. You have to go. It'll be so much fun. And promise me you'll have a good time. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Take care of your mom. Okay, I'm excited. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going again? Home. To Volodenko's? No, to mine. Why? Because it's our home. I don't like being there. Are you afraid to stay with me? Yes? Hello, Max. I just called to tell you that I hacked into Anton's email. There was a man... Uh, he communicated with recently. His name is Frolov. I checked his office's address through the IP. That's great. Now send me the address. Tell Sanya I'll be needing him. Are we going somewhere? I am. But you're going home. Hey, Zenya. Hi. How do you like Strzelecka's trick? Did they find her already? Yep. She got married. You don't know? Try and look it up. She's already trending. Uh. Listen. Books often tell us about heavenly love. And Max and I, we are lucky to find it in real life. I'm in shock. And you poor thing didn't know that she's married. To a security guard. Take care, okay? I hope it will take long. I'll be right back, don't worry. Nasya, you hardly ate at the restaurant earlier. You should get some food for you. Thanks, see you later. It's an order. Hey, it's me. I've got the stuff. Mikita, what is this place? It's a building. Some people rent flats and use them as offices. Mm -hmm. Who is this Frolov? What does he do? According to the ads posted on his website. He's a local broker. Okay, I see. And so? <laughs> that for me? No. Yes. I need your services urgently. You're a real estate broker, right? What's the matter? It's Rinchuk. Good afternoon. Hello. Stupid prick. You set me up. I swear. I have no idea why he's here. You're leaving? Yes. Upstairs. Over here. Stop! Stop! Hey! Stop! 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 Stop!
Who hired you? Who hired no. you? Who hired you? I got you now. Stay here. Just stay here. Uncle, I have the laptop. Masha, baby, I promised to come see you. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm fine. Anastasia Andreevna, for some reason they want to change our doctor, Yaroslav Ivanovich, but Masha doesn't want anyone else anymore. He seems angry. He doesn't like me. Aunt Nastya, can you be the one who will take care of me? Well, you have Yaroslav Ivanovich. He's a good doctor. I'm sure that everything will be fine. But if something comes up, I promise I will immediately come visit. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you very much, Maxime. Thanks. You did good. I knew I could always rely on your work. Have you opened it already? What for? Even if there's something deleted or copied from there, only you or Mikita will be able to access it. Yes, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. Thank you once again. You saved my life. So I did. But for some, it was too much for me. Was it Anton? Yes, Anton. And also the man whom I took it from earlier. Do you know his employer? I do. It's Cruiser Med. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> They're our biggest rivals in getting the government contract. Hope it's all worth it. Max. Max. I know what your ethical values are. But occasionally, you have to kill a man. Well, I didn't shoot anyone. But there was also another man there on assignment. But I didn't see him. I believe he was aiming at me. Or he missed. Oh, then we must find out who it was. Can you do it? Of course I can. Well, I was right all along. <gasps> You're pregnant about 11 weeks. Aren't you happy? Sure. I'm very happy. But I don't understand. You know, it's... It's impossible. But miracles happen. Especially when you have someone to make love to. Nothing is impossible. <gasps> You should be happy you got pregnant despite the doctor's diagnosis. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what? So, is it ready? Yuri, do you remember my record? Of course I do. Seems like he served good in everything. Ostapenko has a clean record. He was born a Hrinchuk. He changed his surname after his marriage to Ostapenko, Tatiana Nazarovna. And his relatives, Mother Hrinchuk Elina Henadivna, Sister Hrinchuk Halina Anatolievna, and Brother Hrinchuk Maxim Anatolievich, all born in the capital. Do you need addresses? No, I know them. I know the address. Misha? I have some good news. We received the report and it was positive. Oh, me too. Max found the laptop. Oh, thank goodness. Listen, don't you think that it's, it's important for us to trade secrets for better protection? It's so strange you keep your other accounts in a computer like this. 
It's not about accounts. Are you hiding something from me? There's a letter in here I didn't delete. And I just had to keep it, because I have no intention to make it known to the public. Skeletons in the closet. You understand that I need to know all about your potential problems, and only then can I be useful to your business. Oh, this was a hundred years ago. My business rose on somebody else's research. I didn't buy his research. I stole it from him, and I got it illegally. And after that, the author of this study, he passed away. Anton. Was he some kind of celebrity? Oh, no. It was Olena's husband, Anatoly. But we covered up all our tracks. Nobody could prove anything. But you're still worried about the letter, am I right? Yes, and I didn't want Max to read those letters. He loved his father too much. And could just believe it without any evidence presented. Then tell me, why did you tell Max to find the laptop? Because I trust him most. Like he's always been. He didn't break my trust. So, you stole his father's invention? I am his father. It's a story older than time. A classic love triangle. Anatoly loved Olena, Olena loved me, and I... I loved nobody at that time. I obeyed my parents. They wanted their son to live a good life. A rich fiancé, a girl from a good family, Lisa. That stupid Lisa. She's crazy about money. Since then, I've loathed any stupid hysterical women. <sighs> but then I found out. Olena married Anatoly. She gave birth, but I didn't care yet. It was all just so terrible. Then I had Roma. My son became my weakness. Shh, keep quiet. It must be a deer. Or a hog. seemed like an awful and meaningless hell. Once I had a business trip to my hometown, far away from here, and I accidentally met Max. The first day I saw him, I felt something inside my heart. Mine. He was my son. My son. After Anatoly died, I took the boy in my arms. Did he agree to go with you right away, Misha? He had some problems growing up, and I helped him to solve them. But I never dared to tell him the real reason. The reason I gave up on his mother, and married another woman. And what about Olena? What about her? Olena is with her son. She likes to take care of him, and I didn't mind. I marked her legacy for my family. Like, she is my secret sister by my father. As if my father had a baby with a lover and this baby, that was Olena. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, you should have seen my mother's face. <laughs> oh God, all her life she believed her marriage was perfect. She'd been so proud, she even boasted to everybody. It's cruel. It looks like revenge. It was revenge. Revenge? I had my revenge on her. I had revenge for the years I had to spend with Lisa. I took revenge for the death of Roma. For the things that I went through. If they hadn't married me off to that pathetic Lisa, none of this would have happened. But now, 
I have it all. I have everything to be happy. A company, Max, and a beloved woman. So you love him? More than anything else. Doesn't it hurt you that he doesn't call you his father? No. Think about it. Being Mikhailo's son means to feel a great pressure from all my rivals. I hope I don't need to tell you <laughs> that this conversation must remain between us. I am trusting you with this information. I hope this won't ever leak out. Of course, this will be between us. Trust me. Just like Max. Hello. Xenia, where are you? I'm downstairs at the front door. What? I... I can't go out now. I can't go out. You'd better go. Please. You'll be safer. Can you please come out? <sighs> All right. All right, just one moment. Sorry. Can you explain what's going on? I'm sorry. But you must leave. You're not safe here. I'm not going anywhere until you explain yourself. I can't. I can't talk right now. You got married. I'm so sorry. I had no choice. You always have a choice. Why did you just go around and mess with me then? I told you to stay inside. Hey, you stop it! Stop it! No! Xenia! <laughs> Get inside! 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 My nose! Let me go! Stop controlling my every step! You failed me, and now you'll even breathe at my command. I told you not to talk to anyone. I told you not to call him. I told you not to answer his calls. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Finish what you started. No. You know... Uh, oh boy... It happens like this... You got me... When a person... Uh, loses control... Emotions will take over... And you won't understand at that moment... You're a murderer... <laughs> <laughs> 